Hello and welcome back again to Cody's Radio Workshop. It's been a little while, been busy doing this and that and a bit of the other, but I've got a little bit of time now to catch up with you lot and do another YouTube video. I've been out this morning to the car boot sale, local one, lovely day, lovely weather, well, say lovely day, lovely morning, it's, there's still a lot of the day left. Picked this up, this is the Roberts Revival R550, which is the bigger incarnation of the smaller Roberts R250, that iconic uh, one that uh, is still relatively very actually popular today. But as I say, this one is physically bigger, it's got a bigger speaker inside there, it's a bigger case, and actually sounds better uh, than the smaller cousin of it. So this one I paid £3 for, that's all they asked for and that's what I gave them. They didn't say whether it worked or it doesn't, so we're just about to find out. So I'll pop a battery on that and give it a turn on. Oh, I heard a little pop, but nothing else. This sounds a lot to me like a reversed polarity type situation, but what I will do is just get a multimeter and we'll just test the battery. So just make sure that the battery is good. 9.38 volts. So yeah, we are golden on that front. So it's likely, in my opinion, that this one has had um, the dreaded reversed polarity where they've used a centre pin positive instead of a centre pin negative in the jack socket to power it up and that may well have blown the audio chip and one or two of the capacitors so without any further ado that famous old YouTube saying I know I probably coined it in my videos years ago we'll make a start so these ones I don't know if I've done one of these on my channel before I'll have to have a look and, and see but like I said it is the same radio it's just in a bigger case and it typically comes apart almost the same apart from when you get to the guts of it inside and you need to take the radio out of the case and then you've got an aerial issue which we will get to I'll take out the two shoulder screws and I need a different driver now for open up the back and there are five screws, one, two, three, four, five, just to remove the backboard. I've not had a look inside this at all yet. It may have been worked on previously, it may not have been worked on previously. I'm just going to change the driver again because that was not the best one for the job, but this one is. Definitely not sponsored by Wearer Tools, but uh, if they want to throw me some for evaluation, I'd certainly help them out. Most of my drivers now are Wearer. I've got all the micro bits and the ESD stuff and the VDE stuff and uh, torque screwdrivers. It's all Wearer. It's good quality stuff that will last me my lifetime and I should be able to pass them on to Junior so that when he's uh, stuck for a driver he'll have plenty of my old ones to go at. Just looking inside I can see that it hasn't been worked on at first appearance and it will be a TDA7231 IC. So we need to get out the radio from the case. So again a different driver. This one again, wearer, and it's got the extension built into it. I'm just taking off the sideboard. And there should be one at the other side as well, and there is. Now, I did mention earlier about when you do take these out of the case, they can be quite tricky. 
and that is the case for the case because you get to here but then this won't come up and this won't come out it's, it's trapped and you can't get the screw out I've never found an easy way to do this apart from lift the sideboard up and it's still not easy they sometimes do come out like that but this one isn't so there we wrangled it one way or the other There's a knack, and let's just say I haven't got it yet. So there's the radio now out of the case, and I'll pop the case on one side, and then we can take out the aerial screw and get this other side board off. For three pounds, this was an absolute steal. Worth that, for instance, just for the aerial, or, or just for the Roberts badge on the front of the case, or or the knobs on the top. Yeah. Okay. So, I'll zoom you down, and hopefully, you can see if I lift that up. Keep it focused. Here's the TDA seven two three one audio chip, and there. There's a lovely little crater on there, so that has been essentially blown up. Well, I call it blown up. They've used the wrong um, power adapter, and that has caused uh, a breakdown of the circuit inside that chip. So we need to change that that chip. There it is. Let's see if we can get even closer. Won't let me. No, it blows out. Okay, but you can see there, there's a big crater in there. So, yeah, I need to take that out. So that will mean firing up the solder and iron and getting a new chip, which I have got. I've got plenty of those. We'll just change the chip. Uh, sometimes it's the 1000 microfarad at the back there and the 470 at the front as well. And this does look, the 470 at the front does look slightly lifted off the board, but it might have been actually soldered in like that. So we might get away with it just being the audio IC and nothing else. But we'll see. So join me in a moment. Well, it'll be a nanosecond for you, but. Uh, a few minutes for me for the soldering iron to heat up and for me to get the chip out. So join me in a moment and we'll do that. And I'm back and as I say I've got quite a few of these TDA7231 chips. There's, there's probably a hundred in there and I've got about eight or nine drawers of them left so I've, I've got one or two take out one of the chips, there it is, teeny tiny thing, I'll zoom you down a little, soldering iron should be hot and I should be able to desolder that chip quite nicely, quite easily. But of course I'm doing it on video, so it's not going to go like that, is it? It does keep moving around. So what I can do is just put the sideboard underneath there.
should be good there. It looks like I've got all of the solder off. But what I will do, just to make absolutely sure, is use some solder wick just to get rid of the the remainder. It should make it nice and easy for, for taking the chip out then. Now, one of the new additions that I do have is a wearer chip lifter. And this will be the first time I've ever used it in anger. So, it's just to see if it's any good. And it is actually. make sure I get the polarity right. So there's the old one. Here's the new one. And we can crack some solder onto that. I know I don't have to do it because the, uh, the solder that I use has got a flux core. But Putting a little X extra on does make this job a little easy. We might get away with not having to change those capacitors, or it might have taken out those capacitors as maybe even the 100 ohm resistor, which does look a bit burned, to be fair. Uh, but that's that now done. So what I can do is bring the case back in and attach the power lead. Apologies you can't see this, but I am just pushing the power lead back on. And the speaker wires back onto the speaker. And then we can give it a power up again. Let's just make sure that we are switched off. We are. Right, I'll just bring it back in now and zoom you out. So... That's the battery now connected. And there we go. generator. I think the last time that I used it I did use this for long wave. That's a signal generator at 198 and on a medium wave if I go for Yep, there it is there, and on FM, if I go for 
a hundred there. Apologies to headphone wearers. So it's working on all three of the frequencies now. So it was just the TDA chip there. So I'm now going to put it all back together and we'll have another listen to it once it's back together. A minute, a minute. And welcome back and we've got the radio back together now and I'm happy to say and response because this is something So you can see and hear that it's back to working again and really all it was was that um, I see the TDA7231. I did change as well off camera the associated capacitors as well. Uh, they weren't faulty as such but they were very borderline within specification or, or borderline out of specification. So I've, I've changed them just because if it keeps being used like this they will just go further out of spec and that will make the radio not work for somebody and I don't want that happening. So yeah it is theatre that comes along. Oh, and as soon as that's given it's gonna be well why didn't you give one you know what I mean? So thanks very much for watching, like and subscribe and I will catch you in the next one. Bye for now.